Okay. Let's get it started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Nishé. Welcome. If not, thank you for tuning back in. I appreciate you. So I made a new purchase, a self-care purchase, something that I think every natural should have. I bought a hair steamer. Yes. I don't know if you guys watched my hair vlog video, but in that video, my stylist, she steamed my hair. So we had an important conversation regarding whether naturals should have steamers. Do you think getting a steamer at home is, is worth it? I thought about it and I saw how my curls was real popping after that whole steaming process. Definition just like this yeah. after washing it. And I decided, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna buy one. So I did. I purchased this steamer from Amazon for 70 bucks. Shipping wasn't too bad. I want to say it came within two or three weeks. There were three main steamers that I saw on Amazon and I was just looking at the reviews and the average reviews on this specific one overall were better. So I decided to purchase this one. If you've seen the last video, you know I recently took down my crochet locks and now I just have this ACV sitting on my head as a poo to prepare to get washed. But before I do, I just wanted to unbox this and see if I can put it together. I have not opened it yet, so I'm going to do all of that with you guys on camera. I'll also put the link for the steamer down below in the description box so you can go on Amazon, check it out for yourself, read the reviews. I will definitely be leaving one as well. So yeah, let's get into it. I hope. So this is a Zini 03 steamer. It is a three-in-one steamer, which can be used to steam your hair, your face, or humidify a room. The box has a pull-out tab at the top, which makes it easy to open. This is actually how the package came. It did not arrive in a brown cardboard box, nor was this box taped for added security. Luckily, nothing was damaged, but that is something to keep in mind if you are wary about your deliveries being stolen. As soon as you open the box, you'll see the instruction manual right on the top. The steamer comes packaged in between two styrofoam panels. In the top styrofoam panel, there are pockets that hold the face steamer nozzle and the bracket connector for the hair steamer hood. In between the styrofoam panels, you have the steamer hood for your hair and the actual body of the steamer. Everything seemed to come pretty well packaged, nothing was damaged or dirty, and it didn't appear to be used. This is the hair care cap or the steamer hood. It has an air pressure adjuster at the top. You can close it in order to increase air pressure and open it to decrease air pressure. On the body of the steamer, at the back, you have a section with a cover. This is where you will pour in the water. You remove the rubber water plug and pour water into the inlet. It's best to use something that can control the amount of water being poured because the hole is pretty small. But that entire portion around the inlet dips inward towards the hole, so if you do get some water on that outside area, most of it will run back down into the hole. When you pour water into the steamer, it will fill up into this water tank and it does have a marking on the front to show you where the max is. These two flaps on the outside are the heat shields which will prevent you from touching the tank when it's hot and possibly burning yourself. On the front you have two switches. One is the power switch for the steam and the other switch is ozone. I'm assuming you will also turn this switch on if you want to use the steamer as a humidifier. In order to set up the hair steamer, you'll take the bracket connector and align the notches at the bottom with the nozzle installing part on the body of the steamer 
and then just push it in. In order to connect the hood, you'll insert this plastic part on the back of the hood into the connective pipe, then slide these two parts on the hood into these two notches on the bracket connector. In order to switch to the face steamer, you can remove the entire hood portion from the bracket connector and then align the notches on the face steamer nozzle to the nozzle installing part on the body and then push it in. Then you can twist the nozzle to the other side to lock it in. The top part of the nozzle is where the steam will come out and you can twist it to face any direction around the nozzle if you want to change the direction of the steam. And on the back of that same part, there is also a slider piece that modifies the air pressure of the steam. You slide it up to increase air pressure and slide it down to decrease air pressure. When you're done, you just twist the nozzle back to the other side and pull it out. First, I started by pouring water into the steamer. I like to use bottled water. Then I turn the steamer on. It takes about 10 minutes for the water to boil in order for the steam to come out. The first time I used this steamer to steam my hair, I wore a shower cap under the hood and it was okay, but it pretty much defeated the purpose of the steamer. I also tried applying my leave-in conditioner under the hood steamer as well and as you can see, it was very inefficient. It made the application process harder than it needed to be. The second time I used the steamer, I ditched the shower cap and just bantu knotted my hair. And this method worked a lot better for me. The moisture was definitely able to penetrate my hair easier. I've also tried clipping my twist to the top of my head before going under the steamer hood and that works well for me too. When applying my leave-in conditioner, I used the face steamer nozzle instead and I absolutely love it. It enhanced the application of the leave-in conditioner and my hair drank all that moisture up, girl. So here are my final thoughts. I love, love, love this hair steamer. After using it for the past three months, I can say that it is one of the best investments I've made into my natural hair care regimen. I get maximum hydration on wash days, especially from my leave-in conditioners, and it has helped improve my hair volume and curl definition. My advice, go out and get you one of these. Your hair will thank you. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. The link in details for the steamer is down below in the description box, so check it out for more info. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you'll know when my next video is live. See you in my next video. God bless.